Welcome along everybody, it's Steel Horse here. We are on Elm Creek today and we're going to have a quick look at how cow feeding works and the different options uh, that exist uh, in the game, uh, the base game that is. So this uh, video will be good for you if you're uh, new to farm sim and you find the whole concept of cow feeding a little bit confusing or if you've got a little bit ex of experience uh, and you want a little bit of data to guide your choices. The idea is we're here uh, for a good time, not a long time. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, I am playing on Elm Creek with no mods. Uh, so it's good for console or PC. I happen to be on a PC. I have put down uh, six cow pens. Five of them are identical uh, for reasons that will become obvious in a minute. Uh, and the sixth one, which is right in the distance there, uh, is the feeding robot. Uh, so if we have a look uh, at our cow pens, I've named them so we don't lose track of what we're doing but into two of them we're going to put teenage cows one set will feed hay the other will feed a, a basic tmr mix in three then we'll put um, mature cows uh, again we'll feed some some hay uh, we'll feed some a basic tmr mix of silage and hay and then the other ones will give some mineral feed too uh, and then the last lot uh, will be mature cows that we'll put into uh, the robot fed pen, uh, which of course requires mineral feed in order to run the robot. So that'll give us um, some good data and then we'll roll the, the, um, the clock forward over a, a couple of days and just observe what differences emerge. Uh, so if you're not familiar, this pen here is the hay fed teenagers. So we're going to um, straight away grab, we're just going to use Holstein. We want the teenagers. So this is the, the middle price. Um, and they are 12 months old. Uh, hence I'm calling them teenagers. And we are just going to grab 10 of those. We're going to use 10 in each pen uh, because that just keeps the maths easy if we need to do anything. So there's 10 cows in there. And you can see because this is the hay fed pen, I've already put some hay in. So if we go and have a look, we'll see that we've got some hay and we've got 10 cows. And because we've just added them, their health is not so good. So let's run around. I'll put 10 cows uh, in each uh, pasture. And what we might do, just by way of demo for folks that the whole cow thing is a bit new, uh, you can use a feed wagon, which we're going to use for the TMR, but you can also just put hay bales on the feed trigger, which is right here. So if you're just starting out, let's drop a couple of hay bales and you'll see they go straight into the feed trigger. There was nothing in this at all. Uh, so if we come to our purchase trigger, uh, we can again buy our 10. Uh, and in this particular one, we wanted a mature. Oops. So let's do that properly. We want mature cows in this pen. Uh, so we want 10 of those and away we go. All right. So if we check back, we'll see now that in the mature hay fed pen, we've got two bales of hay uh, and we've got our 10 cows that are aged 18 months. So let's go ahead and get cows in all the, the pens and then we can mix up some TMR for them. So now you can see we've got 10 cows in each of our pens uh, and at the moment the only ones that have food are the hay fed uh, barns. So, we're, so now let's go ahead and uh, mix up 
some TMR. So I've got three TMR mixes, although we're going to make the same basic TMR mix uh, for each. Now this is a 24 cubic meter TMR mixer. So if you haven't made TMR before, you need to get a recipe sorted out. This is mineral feed. And you can put the mix in in any sequence. But this is a palette of mineral feed and the mineral feed percentage needs to be between one and five percent so in our case so one of the things we need to look at when we're making a tmr mix of course is the size of our bales so in this case we're using 150 centimeter uh, silage bales which come in at five and a half thousand liters and uh, the same size hay bales which come in at six and a half thousand litres and what that means quite simply is that we can put uh, two silage bales and a hay bale in our mixing wagon and get an acceptable TMR mix and there are lots of ways to achieve this uh, but with TMR, it just needs to be in the right mix. So let's grab two of these. And drop them in. We're going to use the same basic mix in each mixing wagon with the exception of the mineral feed. Come on, up you come. That's what we want. Let's grab a hay bale. I'll only show the first one just be for the folks for whom this is new but there we go and so now you'll see if we jump in the tractor and put our menu up we've got the mix so we've got seventeen and a half thousand litres of silage uh, and you can see by the green bars that we're um, it's combined successfully to create TMR, right? So 37% hay and 63% silage. So if we now go and put our pallet, now we could put a partial pallet in, we only need between 1 and 5%. And you can see as I get it in zone, it starts to add it on. So there we go. I put about half a pallet of mineral feed in there just by hovering it near. And you can see just in the bottom, it's 2.9%. So that's 18,000 litres of feed, which is about what we're going for. So this is a mix with PMR. We want to put that in the cow pen Let's just check we're at the correct one. Mature TMR with mineral feed. That's this guy. And here we go. And we hit the trigger and we can overload that in there. So while that's going, we'll go and mix up uh, a little more. So this TMR mix 
is for our teenagers. You can see 17,500 litres of TMR. So the only difference between this uh, and the other one is that there's no mineral feed in it. And so we're going to give that to our teenagers here. So this is our mature animals without that are being fed TMR that doesn't have mineral feed. And now all that remains is we just need to put some feed in the feeding robot. Uh, and as you can see, or as you're about to see, that's really straightforward. So we don't need to worry about mixing volumes or anything of the like. We just put the feed into the correct pen. So in this particular case, this one wants hay. So we just drop that in like so. This one, next one wants straw. Oops, only grabbed one. We don't need to worry about the quantities or ratios. We just need to make sure that the product is there. Now it should use less straw but let's just see how we go and then we'll put two silage in now the other thing that we also need in this one of course uh, is mineral feed. So if we have a look at the feeding robot, it doesn't have any product at the minute. It doesn't tell us that it's got product. Mineral feed goes around the side here. Loads straight in, as you can see. So we'll put another pallet of mineral feed in there. It'll, it'll work out to have been one and a half pallets. So now we need time to roll forward and I need to move the tally handler out of the way of the robot, but you'll see all of our all of our animals have the mix that they're expecting. Uh, except only we know that the TMR for the mature animals, one has mineral feed and the other has not. We can see the difference in the volume. Okay, so 18,000 litres versus 17 and a half. So let's uh, back up a little bit. Let's just advance the clock past the hour. Just to see what happens on the hour as I understand it. The shutters go down on the feeding robot uh, and it should go ahead and make a feed mix. And so now if we check up on our feeding robot at the end of the first hour, uh, there was a little bit of mixed ration provided. Okay. So the animals in... 
the mature uh, in the robot barn have got a full feed and have started to produce milk and slurry. Our um, CMR with mineral feed fed animals have produced four litres of milk. Our ones without have also produced four litres four liters of milk. Our hay fed mature animals have produced one litre of milk uh, and their health hasn't picked up very much. Uh, and our teenagers have produced four litres of milk versus one litre of milk. So already an interesting variation. And there goes the robot, robot which is the feeding process. So let's go, let's roll forward uh, another couple of hours. So there we go, it's just gone one o'clock. Let's go from uh, the bottom of the list. So our hay fed Holsteins have produced a, a tiny amount of milk uh, and have eaten some of the two bales of hay. So they remember they started off on 13,000 litres of hay versus their cousins across the way who had a little more uh, and interestingly they've eaten about the same amount but they've produced three times or two and a half times the amount of milk now if we can compare that with the mature animals mature animals have produced the same amount of milk uh but have eaten a little more, just a little bit more. So older animals eat more. And when we go to the TMR, of course the TMR production, milk production is the same, but the TMR milk production with mineral feed doesn't vary at all. And the difference in feed looks to be negligible, but we'll do the maths on that shortly. Uh, and on the robot, the robot's showing the total food capacity uh, a little bit differently. So it's showing what it's mixed. But if we come in here, we can see, and we have to do a calculation to see how much silage, straw, and mineral feed is left. But the first thing you notice is there's plenty because there's 5,000 litres of um, product inside. Uh, but that the robot has also produced the same amount of milk so far, although... So it's only the hay fed animals that aren't getting back to health as quickly. All of the TMR fed animals are at 40% regardless of how they got there. Okay, now despite the fact we haven't put straw in the pen, we are still getting slurry. And the TMR fed animals are all showing the same amount Sorry, I take that back. The TMR-fed mature animals are all stowing the same amount of slurry. Uh, the teenagers uh, are slightly less, uh, and then the young ones are even less again. So there is a little bit of difference in slurry production. Let's go forward whole day into September and see what happens. So here we are in September. Let's uh, go and have a look at the story. So the first thing we see is that our hay fed mature animals are at 69 health. So they haven't in, in an overnight 
haven't quite got back to full health and they've eaten about a third remember they started the hay fed animals started off with 13,000 litres uh, if we look at the teenagers same health eaten slightly less uh, but both have produced the same amount of milk if we go to our TMR fed teenagers They've produced double the amount of milk. And remember, they started with about 18,000 litres of TMR. And TMR-fed cows, remember, this is TMR, oh, sorry, 7,500 they started with. So they've eaten about 2,500. Um, these are the teenagers with no mineral feed. Our mineral feed cows, full health, uh, sorry, TMR fed cows are all at full health. Goodness, getting myself confused. Uh, but our mineral fed cows and the like, the only difference in the feed quantity is the amount of TMR, uh, the amount of mineral feed, but no difference in the milk production. Uh, they're at full health. And so I would say that basically adding mineral feed to your TMR produces no benefit whatsoever based on that sense. And when you think about how it works behind the scenes under the covers, it kind of makes sense. The feeding wagon knows that you've applied mineral feed because it keeps track of the formula, but as soon as it passes the TMR into the pen, that information is lost, right? The pen doesn't store, and you can see it on the list here, it just says it's got food. It knows that it went in as TMR, but one batch of TMR is no different to another as far as the um, cow pen is concerned. If we now have a look at the robot, the robot's got uh, a lot more TMR made now. Uh, everything's at 100%. Interestingly, though, the robot produces, has produced the same amount of milk. Uh, and I suspect the only difference uh, when we do the calculation will be in the actual food consumption which as we said before because we put more food in here we've still got a little bit of hay and a little bit of straw and a little bit of mineral feed that it hasn't turned into TMR but my first impressions without doing the calculations is that it's eating it at the same rate so why don't uh, I take a pause here and let's uh, do the math behind the scenes and see what we conclude. So let's jump over into our groovy Google sheet, a phrase I'm sure you weren't expecting to hear in a farm sim video and look at the data we've collected so far. We're not going to spend a lot of time on the spreadsheet. The numbers that jump out at me uh, uh, I've circled. So first of all, once we get to a full overnight cycle and the animals have been at 100% for at least a little while, we can see that the milk production um, differences between the animals that are being fed TMR, whether they be teenage or mature, are nil. So they've all produced the same amount of milk what has varied is the amount that they've eaten. Uh, so the teenage cows have eaten the least and uh, then followed by the robot-fed cows uh, and the robot-fed cows have eaten just under 10% less uh, than the ones we fed uh, ourselves in the shed. So 
what that tells us is that cows eat more as they get older uh, and as they get back to health, uh, which is not unexpected. Interesting slurry and other data is pretty similar. So what I'm keen to understand is let's roll forward a couple more days uh, and look for two things. First of all, um, when we'll get the data from a first day when the animals are at 100%. Uh, so the next day will give us that that data. And, and secondly, what happens when the robot runs out of mineral feed? I'll put a little bit more silage in uh, to top that up. Uh, but when it runs out of mineral feed, will it keep making uh, a TMR mix without it or does it have to have mineral feed in order to operate? Uh, and we might have to run on quite a few more cycles because there's quite a lot of food uh, left. So we've put uh, one more bale of five and a half thousand litres of silage in and we've rolled forward the day uh, and we can see we've got 2,319 litres of milk in here. We would expect to find the same in here which we do and the same in here our animals are all at 100 percent health over here with our mature grass-fed animal oh hay-fed animals milk production is only down at 16.25 uh, but everybody's healthy so that should be the same with our teenagers Healthy teenagers, 16.25, uh, and then the teenagers on TMR, the 23.19. So pretty much we can expect what we expected. We can fill out our spreadsheet and make a prediction as to how long this food in the robot's going to last. Now, we, now that we know we're out of mineral feed, will it convert any of that remaining product um, product into TMR without mineral feed or does it just stop? So, so if we have a look now with the second days or second overnights data in, the thing that jumps out, everything's at 100%, but the milk production seems to have stabilised at uh, 135 litres per day per cow provided they're fed and mature. Uh, and that they eat 350 litres of feed, give or take. So uh, it looks like once everything stabilises, um, they're not eating more or less uh, in under the robot either. So um, it's just some vagaries of potentially of how they get back to full health. So looking at this data and the fact that we want to run the robot out of food to see what happens. Um, we need to triple the amount of cows uh, that we've got in the robot shed in order for them to chomp through this uh, in a couple of days. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that and see if we can have a look at what happens uh, when we run out of feed. So I've gone ahead, I decided to add 30 more cows uh, into the shed uh, so that's brought the average health down uh, to 50 but we'll run forward a day and into November and see where we get to. Days are getting a bit shorter now that we're in November but we can see that our animal health is back up to 100% in the robot shed and uh, we've got heaps of milk and slurry uh we've still got food so if we actually look at the detail page for the robots we can see that the total food is 12 uh and we're up over seven and a half thousand so we've got plenty of room for the slurry and the milk uh, but in this next cycle 
we may well run out. Um, so we've still got a little bit of hay, a little bit of silage and a little bit of straw, but with no mineral feed, it doesn't look like it's topping up the, the TMR. So let's see what happens in the next day. And we're out of food according to uh, the measure there. We got 12,378 litres. But you can see that because our mineral feed is at zero, it hasn't turned the last bits, hasn't made any change to the hay silage or straw. So not having mineral feed means that it won't run feed to the robot at all and that the health of the animals drops away pretty sharply um, and they stop their reproductive cycle. Uh, so the upshot of all of that is uh, that you do need mineral feed in the robot all the time. You have no control of the mix. Uh, and therefore it's a critical component. But we've proved pretty comprehensively, if we have a look over at our other doors over here, We've still got a little bit of food in here. We're still producing milk. But we can safely say that if you're making your own TMR, the only reason you would add mineral feed uh, is from a realism standpoint. Um, the reality all around the world is different breeds, different weather situations and different food product availabilities mean that farmers add put additives in um, their cow mixtures all the time. Uh, it, it's just in game, it's only with the automation of the robot that it's a prerequisite. If you want to get more realistic on how to feed your cows, you can always, if you're on PC, give the Maze Plus mod a go, which adds in the ability to put all sorts of supplements uh, into your feed. Uh, but really the production of uh, TMR for your cows is just a function of what products you've got on hand on your farm and your own uh, preference. As you saw the TMR we made here, we made out of silage and hay. Now hay is a lot cheaper generally on silage so you might like to play with the, the mix uh, and if you've got plenty of straw around, you might like to pad it out so that your silage goes further. So there's lots of flexibility with the mixing wagon uh, to sort that out. And the meter that's on there gives you plenty of indication. If we open up the menu there, you've got a minimum amount uh, for hay and silage, but beyond that you can play with the mixture composition based on availability and cost. Remembering that you don't need a minimum uh, amount for mineral feed. But that'll do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope it's been useful. Catch you next time. See ya. <laughs>